I'm Eric Douglas. And I'm Scott Stroop. And we're from Cellscope, and we're developing uh, diagnostic imaging on a smartphone platform. Things like this. So this is one of our attachments that um, is for skin imaging, that we can be able to take um, you know, uh, magnified controlled illumination images. Another one is an otoscope for ear infection imaging. We can take these images and transmit them for remote diagnosis or use our software to analyze uh, the condition that we're looking at. Yeah, I think, you know, so Cellscope's a, a spin out of Berkeley where I was a grad student and a postdoc. And um, a lot of the initial hurdles have been technical. You know, it's figuring out, like, these, these phones are, are great for taking snapshots, but they're not meant for taking this sort of image. And so, you know, coming up with, with clever ways to, to use this, you know, use the camera, use the flash to be able to take these good images has been a lot of, a lot of what we've done. You know, I think one of the one of the big challenges we're we're dealing with now is you know we're, we're able to take great images. We've got a lot of doctors who who want to use it, people who want to use it, but uh, you know, it's sort of figuring out how it fits within the within the healthcare landscape. How you know traditional fee for service doctors can get paid for these sorts of things, even when you know it's it's more efficient for them, it's quicker for them, it's the same diagnosis, the, often better than than they would get uh, in the traditional setting. Um, it's kind of butting heads with, with the entrenched structure of, of how they're compensated. Yeah, over the last six months or so, we participated in a new incubator in San Francisco called Rock Health. And uh, some of the resources there have been really, really useful. Great introductions to potential strategic partners and investors and stuff like that. So those, uh, those introductions and just being around those people and having them get an early look has been really valuable. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think, to me, I think that, you know, this is, it, it seems pretty obvious that, that this sort of thing is going to happen, that, you know, it's like five years from now, ten years from now, you know, things always happen more, more slowly than, than you would hope, but, you know, l looking back, people will, will be able to do diagnosis from home, patients will have more control over taking data, sort of being in control of, of their, um, you know, being, being a participant in their you know, healthcare delivery. Um, I think we're, we're at a unique uh, sort of crossroads right now, you know, our, our healthcare system wh where we're starting to come to terms with some of that. We're starting, you know, some of the ACO systems, some of the, you know, uh, capitated systems are, are looking at patients uh, you know, try, trying to drive efficiencies in, in service delivery. Um, but it's just such a complicated entrenched system that, uh, you know, we're trying to, trying to come to terms with, um, with, with where we fit within that and also, you know, find some opportunities to work with partners that are already able to, to deliver service on those terms. I think it's, I think it's seeing that future. I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it is going to happen. And I think, you know, we've got, we've got a head start. We've got an opportunity to help make it happen. And, you know, it, it could happen 20 years from now or it could happen two years from now. And I, as a, as a user of these things, would rather, you know, if, if my kids get an ear infection, if, you know, I have a, a skin condition or something, like all these, like, I personally go to the doctor and wait in the waiting room for two hours. You know, it's so many simple things. So, so many ways in which we interact with the healthcare system are inefficient and just you know kind of a legacy of how we've done things in the past. And I think we can we can do a lot better. And so it's you know, taking taking our, our technology and trying to trying to make that possible. This is cheesy, maybe. I'm kind of inspired by my mom, who's also an entrepreneur, and she uh, you know just constantly keeps a positive outlook. And, I mean, she's realistic, but stays positive, and constantly keeps moving forward and working hard, and you know, working on our ideas and trying to make them real. And, and it's just it's great to see her do that. And at sometimes when you know this isn't easy all the time, it's not fun all the time. And so, you know, it's pretty easy to be able to think about her and think about what she's working on, and and her sort of positive attitude and sort of be inspired by that. Yeah, I think for me, you know, uh, so this project actually got started. Um, I was working on it as a postdoc at Berkeley. And the, the initial impetus was um, disease diagnosis in developing world settings. We were doing high magnification, kind of proper microscopy for things like tuberculosis and malaria. You know, so I got to, through, through that project, got an opportunity to go out and you know, work with some, some frontline healthcare uh, personnel in, in um, Africa and in Congo. And you know, seeing people where you know, they're sacrificing so much, you know, they're working, like they could come to the US, they could move to Europe to be doctors, they you know, have other opportunities, but 
because of the way service, that healthcare services are, are delivered, like they need to be there, they need to be present. I think we can do, you know, it, it, it can be done so much better. You know, we can, like there is such an opportunity, even in the most remote village in Africa, there's often good cell coverage, mobile coverage, and so being able to leverage these, you know, assets, that, technological assets that have jumped ahead of the rest of the system, I think is, you know, and, and, and seeing the people who are kind of left behind in that system, um, it, yeah, I'm excited to try and bring those things together.